What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are bringing a brand new team, and we are against Denari, who's bringing a Zygarde. I don't think Zygarde is Uber, and I can be wrong. I think it is Uber because it gets the Dragon Dance, but it is what it is, because last generation, unless it was Power Constrict, it wasn't Uber. So we're just going to hope for the best, especially against the Zygarde. So... He's bringing a lot of dragon types, and I I got a feeling Dragonite's gonna gonna have a field day. So this team, just FYI, let me choose my team first. Um, Rabambi does have the sticky webs, and it's gonna be very crucial against the Blaziken, especially. But I really have a feeling he's gonna start Blaziken anyways. So I want to start the Pex. I'm gonna start the Toxapex, and if it starts, if he starts, he or she starts with Blaziken, then. I'm just gonna go ahead and scald. And if he goes out into his water absorbing Lapras, then that's perfectly fine. So, Denari, let's have a good Wi Fi battle. Now, this Pokemon team was inspired by my girlfriend, um, Mommy Mac, if you will. So, this team is modeled after her primarily, and I hope this is not a good Heracross. I really hope it's not, because if it is, we're in big trouble. Um, but, anyways, I'm a little bit of a bind whether or not I should Baneful Bunker. I really want to scout what it's going to do to me, but I'm not sure, so... I don't have any flying type attacks, do I? I mean, what I can do... Let's see, let's see your Earthquakes. I can go out into... Rabombi Or... Dragonite. Um, I'm going to show you guys my team in here in a little bit, by the way. But... I really hope this thing is not Guts. I, w I hope it's a Moxie. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Scald because I don't want to... Yeah, so it goes Earthquake. I should be able to take this. I'm a, I'm a bulky Toxapex and we're Regenerator, so we can honestly just switch out after this. So I'm gonna Scald it up. He's probably gonna go for another Earthquake and I don't get a burn, which is actually kind of good. It's a very good thing. I'm gonna go Dragonite, assuming this thing is Scarf, he's gonna have to switch out, but if it doesn't, I'm going to threaten this thing with a Fire Punch, so. We're gonna add to Dragonite, all of our Pokemon are in Love Balls, by the way, that's because I love my, I love my girlfriend, she's the mom to my child, she's my companion, my soulmate, if you will, and I know I'm getting a little cheesy, but, yeah, um, what I'm gonna do here, I really want a Dragon Dance, believe it or not, I'm just gonna Fire Punch, though. I'm not gonna set up any Dragon Dances quite yet, especially this early in this Wi-Fi battle. It lives it. Stone Edge, miss. Uh, uh, okay, you triggered my weakness policy, so I'm good. You triggered my trap card. Okay, so I'm actually okay, because I can hit this thing with an extreme speed. And I did not want to use my, um, I really thought Fire Punch was gonna knock out, man. I really did. But I really wanted to save my weakness policy and my Dragon Dance. I've gotten so much sweeps with this Dragon Knight. Um, not this one in particular, but with this Dragonite moveset back in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Um, and that's why I wanted to save it, because I wanted to try to get a Dragonite sweep. Dragonite's one of my favorite Pokemon because of my experience with it in, um, in Auras, back in Auras. They're my favorite Pokemon games, by the way. This game right here, my absolute favorite. I really love Generation 3. I must say Generation 3 and 5 are, are my favorite, and I think Generation 3 is more of my favorite just by a little bit. Mostly because it was the first Pokemon game my mom ever bought me. I played Pokemon Yellow, which is the first Pokemon played I've actually well, first Pokemon game I've actually played. But that's because my friend let me let me borrow his, and that's basically why. So he's gonna go out into the Blaziken, put a lot of thought into what he was gonna do, and I'm just gonna extreme speed here. That's what I gotta do. He's gonna detect, get that, um, get that plus one, and that's fine. I could have gotten away with the Dragon Dance, but I wanted to try to not not knock this thing out because I really don't think a plus two um, extreme speed will knock it out. But I wanted to get some damage off on it, and that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna extreme speed here. And it's close, it's not necessarily a knockout. Brave Bird is gonna do some recoil, and now all we gotta do is come into the Toxapex, Baneful Bunker, and this thing is gonna go down. So, that's gonna be good. You're not life orb, you're leftovers. You're leftovers. Okay, so that kind of changes up the strategy a little bit. I don't really want a baneful bunker as much as I would love to. I mean, I kind of do because it'll offset it, but I really want to. Oh no, I got merciless. I forgot to give this thing my ca my capsule. 
I'm gonna do that after this Wi-Fi battle. Okay, that's my bad. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go talk to Pex here, and then we're just gonna scald. We're gonna scald. If this thing wants to hit me with, um, okay, you can attack, that's fine. I would hit this thing with the haze, but it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Because it's gonna get a plus one anyways, you know what I'm saying? So that's basically why. I mean, I should be able to live an attack from this Blaziken. Whatever it wants to throw at, throw at me, I should be able to, assuming it, he's not running the Thunder Punch. Because that's going to be bad. He's running Brave, he's running Brave Bird. What's, his, your, what's your third attack? So we know you got Detect. We know you got the Brave Bird. You're probably running Close Combat and um, Flare Blitz. That's, that's your moveset. All right, so Blaziken's going to go down. Unfortunately, I forgot to pack the Regenerator on this um, Toxapex, so... That's our bad. That's really our bad. Okay, so if you bring in Salamence, oh, you bring in Zygarde. Oh my goodness. Okay. What I'm gonna do? You're gonna Dragon Dance, aren't you? I'm gonna Haze. Oh, a thousand arrows. Okay. So we just let our boy go down. I'm sorry, Toxapex, but you weren't very useful to me because you don't have Regenerator, so... Regenerator. Okay, so... Life Orb, Zygarde. I'm not looking forward to that, to be honest. What I really want to do, though... I can't... I don't necessarily want a Sticky Web yet because Salamence is in the back. What I want to do... I kind of want to beware and Ice Punch. I mean, I am fluffy. I should be able to take an attack from this thing. And Beware's gonna do some damage. You're gonna do some damage. We're gonna Ice Punch here. And we might- we're gonna knock this thing out for sure. If we live an attack, we're, this thing's going down. Okay, we're definitely living that. And this thing's gonna go down with an Ice Punch, so... Beware! Punching Zygarde right in the face! There you go. That's satisfying to me. Now, obviously, I am afraid of the gosh darn, um, Salamance, because I don't think I have an answer against that thing. Especially the Dynamaxes. Now what I'm gonna do, especially after this last two Wi-Fi battles, two or three, two. Yeah, it was two. We might Dynamax if we have to. If I absolutely have to, I will Dynamax, and I, I learned that the hard way. So, you're gonna go out into the Salamence, that's perfectly fine. I really, really want to stay in, but I don't think I'll live an attack from you. You know what? Oh well. He's gonna go Earthquake. I could have gotten away with Rombi. Live it! Yes! Okay! Beware about to get another knockout here. Salamence goes down. Easily a two hit, uh, well, one hit KO. I said two because Zygarde got, went down to a, th to a nice punch also. And I think Beware has done its job. Lapras is gonna come out. And that's perfectly fine. What I want to do, as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go out into Rubombi, and I'm gonna set up the Sticky Web because I really want Beware to win this one. I think Beware deserves to be MVP, right? Especially after living that attack. So he's Dynamaxing, and this is why I said I'm gonna play more aggressive and Dynamax, unless I'm playing people in the Discord server. That's the only time I will not Dynamax because I'm on a really bad losing streak. Mostly because everybody Dynamaxes, so if I want to win, I have to Dynamax. I really have to. That's the bottom line. Okay, so you're going to go for the resonance. And you're going to set up your little, um, your screens, so to say. Okay, so I'm not really mad. I don't mind it so much. Because I'm going to sticky web here. And, um, well, I guess we kind of have to stall out the... What does this do again? Yeah, this isn't this is going to do anything. I'm just going to sticky web here. I should be able to win this anyways. Sticky web... And this is because I want to make sure that Beware outspeeds Duraludon, and this will be game. This will be game. Okay, so Max Geyser is a thing. And this is where I wish I was running the, um... The Thunder on my Raichu, which I'm not. Now, what I will do, and I think my Sylveon was actually supposed to be... Oh, I didn't recap my team, so let me do that really quick. So, we got... We're Bombi with the Sash. Obviously, you saw the Sticky Web, Quiver Dance, Pollen Puff, and Moonblast. 
We got Beware, which is an admin nature with the choice ban and the fluffy ability with Ice Punch, Double Edge, Earthquake, and Superpower. Toxapex, which should have Regenerator, but I forgot to give it an um, the ability patch. We got the Baneful Bunker, the Haze, Recover, and Scald. Dragon Knight, which is going to put a lot of work in these upcoming Wi-Fi battles. I can feel it. So, oh, press B. Oh, okay, there you go. So, Dragon Dance, Extreme Speed, Fire Punch, Dragon Claw, Raichu with the Bolt Switch, Thunderbolt, Grass Knot, and Side Shock, and lastly, Sylveon with the Mystical Fire, Side Shock, Shadow Ball, and the Hyper Boys. So, yeah. Um, now, unfortunately, we need Beware to win no matter what. So, we're just going to go out into the Sylveon. Try to take an attack from this thing, even though it has its screens up, so to say. And then, um, yeah. So you got three more turns of Aurora Veil. And I really just want to hit you with... The, I know you're very, very, very well-versed in... Um, in what is it called? Special Defense. So I'm going to Mystical Fire here, mostly because I want to lower this thing's physical or special de special attack. So you can hit me with that Geyser if you want. I'll Dynamax in a little bit. But I'm going to Mystical Fire here. We should be able to take another attack from this Lapras here shortly. Especially after an, uh, after a special attack drop. Now, if you go for the water type attack, then I probably will go down. But that's okay. I'm going to Mystical Fire one more time. Especially because I want, you know, I want to make sure that this thing will go down. And I'll be able to live any attack from it. So, there you go, Sylveon. Beautiful Sylveon doing everything it's told. I love Sylveon. I love Sylveon so much. So special attack drops again, and we're just gonna Mystical Fire again. And these are choice specs Mystical Fires, and they're not doing anything because of the rain and because of the screen. So Hydro Pump, it's gonna hit again. Your luck's running out, my friend. And we live at two HP. There you go, Sylveon. Okay, so this is exactly why I'm going Mystical Fire with the Sylveon here. Now Aurora Veil goes down. And we should be able to win this with the um, Raichu and the Beware, so that'll be good for us. Now, part of me really wants a Dynamax with the Raichu. I don't know if I should, though. I really, really want to. I think it'll be kind of mean if I do, though. But again, he dyn Well, he used a G-Max Pokemon, so I'm not really mad about that. Technically, the person in the last Wi-Fi battle did also, so... I can't be biased! I'm sorry, but I cannot be biased. I have to hit you with that Thunderbolt. I have to Dynamax and I have to Max Lightning if I want to make sure I win this. So that's what we're going to do. You Dynamax first, you know, you got to take it now. That goes for all my future opponents who Dynamax on me. And I managed to live somehow. So, okay. So here comes the Raichu. I love Alolan Raichu, man. I love it so much. I love it more than the regular Raichu. Okay, so... Raichu's gonna hit up the Max Lightning here. And this should knock out the Lapras. Oh, it doesn't. That's why Dynamax. Because I do not think that Raichu, or not Raichu, but um, what's your name? I don't think that Beware will outspeed the Lapras. It'll more than likely outspeed the what weakness policy. Okay, I got you. So your your special attack is back up. So that's fine. We live that obviously, and um, we're just gonna Max Lightning here. Max Lightning, boys! Okay, so quick update. As of today, you guys are watching this a little bit behind. I'm really trying to get ahead on Wi-Fi battling, that's why, so I have videos for the month of July. As of today, June 15th, I have two weeks to move out. And then for the month of July, I won't have any videos. Well, I'll have videos up for you guys, but I won't be able to record, unfortunately. So. You guys are going to be watching a lot of pre-recorded stuff for the um, for the month of July. And I apologize, but in August, I will be back. I'll give you guys an update. I'll give you all that good stuff. So we're just going to max lightning here. I want to make sure we put this thing nice and low. We're going to max lightning here. It's obviously resisted. But it doesn't matter because that's a lot of... That, that did a lot of damage. Draco Meteor misses, and Raichu's actually going to take the victory here. I'm not even mad that Raichu's going to take the victory here, so... We're just going to T-Bolt, and that's game. It should bring down this Duraludon, at least I think. We'll see. We'll see. So Thunderbolt, Duraludon is probably going to tank this, actually. It doesn't. That's game. That's game! I knew I had this one once in Team Preview, to be honest. I was afraid, though. But, 
that's gonna be it for this Wi-Fi battle. Make sure that you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle. Subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next.